Okay, sorry about that. So, I already have a minnow bait, a uh, minnow bucket in the water with chum in it. However, I'm going to empty that right now so that I can do the demonstration for you. Um, the other contents that you'll see in the bucket right now are the liver, heart, and some other insides of a Jack Craval I caught offshore fishing a couple of days ago. So, what we're going to do now is go ahead and open the bag of chum. And I'm going to dump approximately half the bag into here. Usually you would put the whole bag, but there's already about a half a bag in here. So I'm only going to put about a half. Then, what we're going to do... open the magic bait fishing bait and put a handful inside see I like that you see that there we go maybe do a few more j j just for good measure All right, so as you can imagine, this is a pretty stinky bucket right now. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back momentarily to continue. Okay, fishermen, this is Peter Egan back with you again. We'll recap what we've gone over already. First, we did the perforated can of dog food hanging from a limb line. You can see it right there, and in fact, there were fish I don't know if you can see it with the camera or not, but there is a school of perch surrounding it right now at this very moment. Uh, so, yes, fish do get attracted to that. What we have done now is added the inner contents of a saltwater fish, which is not something I normally do. It's just something I'm doing now because I had it and I decided, what the hell, we'll throw it in there. Um, and the, the reason I bring this up is that some folks will tell you that if you're going to chum using this particular bag, uh, brand of chum to stick to one flavor. To mix one flavor with the chum and to fish with the flavor that you mix with the chum. And what, what I find is that if you've just got a bunch of smelly, stinky stuff in the water that looks and smells like blood for the most part and rotting meat uh, the catfish are going to be a lot less picky about what they eat than they will be if they're smelling one thing that's turning them on and smelling another that they also kind of like but it's kind of different than what they're smelling that they want to eat so um, either way I don't I didn't I don't think it really matters that much but what this is is going to be one week's worth of chum when I lower this bucket into the water I'm going to leave it there for a week and at any point during that week then I can come down and fish and I will fill up an ice chest with catfish uh, in fact there's a pond about 300 feet to my right uh, in the middle of a cul-de-sac and I might just start putting them in there and feeding them ca uh, catfish food and seeing how f big I can get them I don't know I haven't really figured out what I'm gonna do with them yet because I don't like cleaning fish so anyway um, the final step before we lower our chum bucket into the water is of course with the holy grail of catfish bait chicken liver so now we're going to have fish guts, chicken gizzards, a bag and a half of chum, a half a bag of magic bait, and I don't know, three to four chicken li livers. Let's see here.
I don't want to put too much in there because I want to make sure I have enough left over for bait for when I do decide to fish. So I put about, about half of the container in there. Now our chum bucket is ready to go. You can see the inside of it right here. See, doesn't that look nice? Well, that's what we're about to lower into the water, and watch what happens when we do. Try to lower it down quietly, not to make too big a splash. Now, if you're fishing from a boat, you're going to want to add weight to your chum bucket. And the idea to do to do that is to be able to sink the chunk bu chum bucket below the, s the surface. Um, since this particular bait bucket that I'm using as a chum bucket does not have a hatch on it like this one does, um, obviously if I were to sink that fish would be able to get into it and get the contents out of it and that would defeat the purpose. So this way they can only smell what's in it. They can't eat it. The smell isn't going to be as strong as it would be with a fully submerged perforated bucket, presumably with a hatch. But it doesn't matter because like I said, it's out there constantly, every day. Um, that's one week's worth. Next week, I'll put many, uh, if not most, or all of the same ingredients in it. Clean it out and start over. Um, on the ground here, I have a few leftover pieces of um, Jack Craval that uh, I think we're going to give a go here. I'm going to give it about 15 minutes for the, uh, the battery on my phone to recharge and then let let things quiet down out here since you know I've been talking into a video camera and we'll see if our chumps had any impact by the time we throw, the, throw in that first cast so stay right where you are don't go anywhere uh, we will be back momentarily